People sometimes get burned out on the book of Revelation, also called the Apocalypse. If you live very long, you'll notice books on Revelation that predict how events today are about to converge and the world will end, but then it doesn't. People start to think that maybe Revelation doesn't predict the future after all. How about this? Let's remember that when God gave those visions to John, it was maybe 80, 90. And from that vantage point, our today is the future. We are in it. Christ is reigning. Martyrs testify and pay the price. Heaven is abuzz with word about evil on the earth and its defeat at God's hand. Saints and angels and all the host of heaven are praising God. Everything in this world is heading in that direction. But all those things are already overarching realities affecting our world. I think Revelation does refer in places to the end of this world and beyond. But read it also for clues as to how our Lord God and the Lamb are already on the throne. We are called to live out God's unfolding will through faith in Jesus. By the guidance Revelation gives, we can. As for the general epistles, what a wealth of knowledge and encouragement. And they all, except I suppose 3rd John, point to a focal point of the book of Revelation, the future moment, perhaps very soon, of the return of Christ. It's not a matter of if, but when. And it's life-changing. 1st John says, everyone who has this hope fixed on Christ purifies themselves just as he, Christ, is pure. It also says that when he appears, we will see him just as he is, and we will be like him. Anything that can make that happen, I want to know about. So enjoy this part of the book and these final priceless parts of Holy Scripture.